The point of sale system is a comprehensive system that helps you to maintain a record of your sales and print receipts for your customers. Once you have added some products to the system, you will see them displayed on the product tab. Click on the products to add them to the shopping cart. You can find products by checking through the pagination. Filtering by the product category. Typing the name of the product on the search bar. Or better still, if you have a barcode scanner, scan the product barcode to add them to the shopping cart. If you forgot to add the product to the system, don't worry. You can still add it here, by clicking on the add button and filling the form. You can also charge customers for services. Click on the service tab to see all your services. Again, you can tap on each service to add it to the cart. Or search for services. You could also add a new service by clicking on the add button and filling the form. When you add a product or a service, they appear in the order summary list. The time of day is displayed at the right side of the list header. The unit price column shows the selling price of one item, while the amount column showed the amount for the quantity purchased. For each product or service you add, you can increase or decrease the quantity using the plus or minus buttons. For products with large quantities or quantities with fraction, click on the quantity box to enter the required quantity using a flexible form. You can also delete an item from the cart, using the delete button, if you have added it by mistake. The stock alert tab, allows you to see the products that are getting out of stock. You should set the quantity limit to start triggering this alert when initially adding the product to the system. Each time you add a product that is getting out of stock, the product row turns pink and the amount remaining is displayed in a red box, serving as a reminder. You can keep track of customer purchases by selecting the customer. You can then see all sales for that customer in the admin section. If you have any special note about this sale, you should enter it in the note box. Once you are done with that, you can collect the money from the customer. Then click on the yellow total button, to indicate that the customer has made a complete payment. Or enter the amount of money the customer has paid, if it is a part payment. The system then shows you the balance payment. You can then click on checkout to complete the sale. After checkout, you can print a receipt for the customer, or email the receipt, if you have initially selected a customer with an email address. To begin a new sale, click on the clear button. You can also use this button to clear the shopping cart, if you have started a sale but needs to get rid of it, and begin a new one. You can also use the refresh button at the top right corner to reload the page at any time. You can also click on the suspend button, the red button with the hand icon, to suspend a sale and resume at another time, while you continue making other sales. This is useful, if for example a customer forgot his credit card in the car and wants to quickly get it. Clicking the suspend button will bring up a form to enter a label, so you can easily identify and continue this sale. Once you are ready to continue the suspended sale, go to the Manage Sales tab, and find the sale with that label on the list of suspended sales. Clicking on the sale will restore the sale to the cart, and you can continue from where you stopped. If you no longer need the sale, you can delete it using the delete button. The Manage Sale tab also shows a list of the sales for the current day and the total amount sold. An attendant sees only the sales he has made, and the total amount of his sales. While an admin will see all sales made by all users. If you need to adjust one of these sales, click on the sale and it will be loaded on the cart. Once you are done with your changes, click on the checkout button. This action can only be performed by an admin, so counter attendants will be presented with a login screen. They can then ask their manager to approve this action. To return items from a previous sale, enter the invoice number on the search bar. Alternatively, you can use your barcode scanner to scan the barcode on the receipt. 
This will bring up the sale. Then you can delete the items that have been returned. You can also use the note field to make comments on the returned item. Once you are done, click on checkout to update the system. And then on clear to clear the shopping bag. The POS system comes with an inbuilt calculator to help with simple calculations. If you need to adjust a product details, click on the product while pressing the control key on Windows or the command key on Mac. This action can only be performed by an admin, so counter attendants will be presented with a login screen. They can then ask their manager to approve this action. You can also add expenses by clicking on the money icon and adding the store expenses. As you have seen, the perfect inventory manager is the most versatile and easy to use system in the market. With this software, you can easily add and manage your products using a powerful spreadsheet. You can easily take stock and audit your products, manage purchases, create quotations, manage sales and view reports. Use the point of sale system to quickly make sales using a barcode scanner print, or email receipts, manage returns, and suspended sales. No more worrying about poor internet connection, as the software can work offline, and then synchronize across devices once it senses an internet connection. It is available across all major devices. It is fully customizable, and support multiple currencies.